Hi there, students. Don't cramp my style. To cramp somebody's style. Okay, this means to restrict or to constrain the actions or the speech or the expression of somebody. I think it's easier if I give you an example. Imagine you're doing a job at work and your boss is watching you do it. This is cramping your style. You don't feel free to do all of the things that you might normally do because you're worried that maybe he won't like them. He's cramping your style. He, you, you feel restricted in your freedom of action. Okay, imagine you go out on a first date with a girl and her mother comes with her. Then you would say that the mother is cramping your style. You don't feel free to act or to express yourself or to say many of the things that you might say if you were alone with her. The most common phrase here is to say to someone, don't cramp my style. Imagine you're with some friends and you're telling jokes and one of your friends is continually telling the punchline, the last bit of the joke, the funny bit, when you begin the joke. You might say to him, come on Ben, don't cramp my style, okay? Because he's restricting the way you are acting, the way you're expressing yourself. Yeah? Maybe you could say these new safety laws really cramp my style. They prevent me from acting freely, from doing things exactly as I want to do them. Okay? So this is to cramp somebody's style, to cramp, to, to, to constrain, to push in, to tighten, to limit the freedom of, to restrict. Okay? And the style is your style of action, your style of speaking, the way you do things. Have you ever been doing, doing an exam and suddenly you find the teacher is leaning over behind you reading what you've written? You may feel that this is cramping your style, okay? So you're thinking very much about what you're doing, but you're worried about doing some of the things that you might do freely if he wasn't reading, yeah? Um, I was kissing and cuddling my girlfriend on the sofa when suddenly her mother came into the room, and that really cramped our style. So we stopped, sat, sat up, and started talking to her, yeah? To cramp somebody's style, to restrict their free action, to ref restrict what they're doing, to inhibit the behavior of somebody, okay? So, if somebody is making it difficult for you to do whatever you're doing, because they're inhibiting you, you would say to them, don't cramp my style. You are really cramping my style. Okay? So there you go. To restrict the free action or the free expression of somebody, either by action or by just presence. Okay? So, there you go. When you speak English, don't let anybody cramp your style. I've noticed many people are very embarrassed about speaking English in front of their friends. Maybe the presence of their friend cramps their style. They don't feel as free to speak as they would if they were alone. So, there you go. Another phrase. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.